on this episode of Movie Threesome, we've got Deadpool, tubes of toothpaste, and interpretive dancing. And actor, dancer, choreographer, and prankster Robert Hoffman is here. And this is Movie, Movie Threesome! Threesome! <laughs> Robert, thanks for joining us and completing the movie threesome. Yeah, mm -hmm. so I feel like a lot of people watching this probably know you from Step Up to the Streets. Mm -hmm. There's dancing, there's acting. Which passion kind of came first for you? Dancing was the initiator, for sure. Dancing was something that, since I was a toddler, was just like, what else would be more cool to do? Doesn't everyone know dancing is the coolest thing you can do, period. See, that's the thing, is that you say everyone knows him from like, from Step Up. I, For me, it's his YouTube channel. Normally, they, if they have a YouTube channel, it's just dancing, this just comedy. Thing. You do a mix of all three of these, the comedy, the direct, the pranks. Well, it works totally to my, to my disadvantage because YouTube's gonna work a lot better if you have a consistent thing. But I, I just can't, if I have, I, it's, it's always best idea next. Like, oh, I have this great idea to do a wind up guy that humps the air maniacally. But well, you're not humping, you're not humping air. You're humping people. Humping and you didn't the get air arrested. in the direction of people who wound me up, yes. <laughs> what have you found out about people in general while you're doing so much, so much. <laughs> we want to go semi deep for a second here. Like pranking brings you to presence in the coolest Can way. Can we just talk about that? This means semi deep to you. Yeah, <laughs> I like that. And you do like one, two, three, four pranks, and you're so scared, and you're so like, oh, I'm invading the world. I'm, oh, I'm so inappropriate. You feel like you're gonna get cracked in the jaw, or yes, yeah. or arrested, or shamed, yeah. and then all of a sudden, like you realize what society has taught you is not true. Everyone isn't an affliction shirt wearing jerk that just wants to knock out anyone that's yeah. doing something wrong. Right. But rather the world's playful and their game and if your reality is the most dominant reality and it's one of fun, then you just feel like so clear and you're so present and the world is your playground and shame on anyone who's not in it with you, you know right. what I mean? Really interesting that's experience awesome. to prank. Are you a big fan of comedy movies? What was one that uh, you Deadpool, immediately to my top five. Yeah. Every line is like, that's a great joke that's never been said before. It was a different type of R-rated comic book movie. Studios are gonna wanna do a lot of those now, but it also brings us to last week's weekly wager. Which I just wanna put out from the very beginning what? that we both made terrible wagers. Not necessarily. Here are the numbers that we bet last week. I bet 61.5 million. You bet. 56? So I don't want to say it loud. It was a bad bet. 56 million. The actual total was 135 million. That's not including President's Day. My God, Robert, why did this movie make so much money? Because it's good. Because it's not hack. It's not formula. And you know what makes something good? Ideas. Yeah. Every line, a great idea. What in the ass? That's a great, no one's ever said that. That's a great wordplay. This week's loser should comes from YouTube user, oh hi Mock, who says, hashtag loser should eat a toothpaste sandwich. Okay, for the record, if more than used for brushing is accidentally swallowed, get medical help or call Poison Control Center right away. Okay, here we go. Does say stop making stupid bets on that too? Uh, yeah. I feel like it, oh hi Mark is trying to kill me on set so he can steal my job. I'm almost certain this is relatively toxic, this what you're about really to do. This is really gross. Oh, that's voila. This? It looks wonderful. Let's do it. Bite it. Freeze. Bite it. Come on, come in, come in. Oh. You got something on your lip. Oh no, my no, god, no, it no, looks so bad. No, uh -oh. no, no. <laughs> no, don't get out of here. Wait, we didn't get into the bets for next week. All right, next week we're going to bet on race. For me, I am going to say 9.5 million. Tiffany, what do you got? Good. I would say 12. 12, okay. Who's gonna win? You are. Can we just have him co-host? Make sure you guys put your loser shoulds in the comments below. Use the hashtag loser should on Facebook and on Twitter. I can't wait to see if you go two months without winning a bet. This is awesome. But don't worry, because it's gonna get a little better for you because right now it's time for today's topics. <laughs> There's a controversy out there right now. It is called freebooting. Robert, as a content creator, can you tell us a little bit about exactly what freebooting is? It's when people rip stuff off of YouTube where people can monetize and then put it on Facebook, which is a big sharing machine, giving no credit and essentially taking away all of that person's potential to monetize. Someone wanted to take your ninja video off of YouTube, put it on Facebook, mm -hmm. you don't see a dime of that. Nothing. But well, and that's not saying when somebody uses a YouTube link and posts it to Facebook, no, because no, no, then no, it no, still no. drives people right. back to YouTube. So that's fine. Also on Facebook, you can't really search things. Yep. So you don't know until it shows up in your feed with 30 million views and you right. got 50,000 on your YouTube. Okay, I mean, that's, I mean, that's true. <laughs> Can you tell I have a but, feeling about yeah. this? But to be fair, YouTube did, it took YouTube a little bit uh, to, to be able to monitor that stuff. And they were smaller when they started, so not yeah. as big as Facebook. Do you see even from your YouTube channel, like, 
a difference in numbers where when they do take clips out and put it on Facebook, does the number on YouTube About is it less? Five hundred percent. And I'm kind of being Debbie Downer right here, but I have a passion for this because it really does suck yeah. for like yeah. small time sure. creators. Really stinks right now. I, I'm looking forward to the next uh, website that's like, hey, we're never gonna flip it on you. Don't worry about being heavy because it's time to get fun. Game time! It's game time and this game is, can you do the what? What is that? I'll tell you. <laughs> it is all about dancing. And the dancing right now is gonna be between Robert and Tiffany. I'm going to say a dance move. They're gonna have to do said dance move and I'm gonna say who did it best. Professional dancer. You. Ew. Now, Me. But, 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 but wait, but what? But here's here's what I have to let you know, though. I can see you do his move. You don't know what the hell it is, and then you do it, you could win some points. Here we go, Robert. The first one is called the sprinkler. Sprinkler, real move. Already been done. <laughs> All right. All right. Oh, okay. All right, Tiff. Hey. I don't do sound effects, though. Don't talk. You should. Don't, don't I talk. Just did it. Doing, oh, you you had for me. You started, then you bailed. Robert gets the point. Fine. Right. The Cabbage Patch. It's good. It's good. Uh-oh, he's getting into it now. See, now you're in trouble. First one, first one, you kind of, let's see. I thought the Cabbage Patch was like this. Here we go, here we go. Oh, oh. now Tiff's in it. Oh! Hey. Oh, I like the head whip. You really committed, though. Tiffany gets the yeah. point on that one. That was a commit. Here was the last one. The Tiffany Smith. It's a very white girl name. <laughs> so I'm gonna just do the white girl move. And that's the white girl. <laughs> Pretty good. Is that how Tiffany, when you go to a dance club, what is the Tiffany Smith? There I do is. a lot of the no-no hands. I'm like, All right. this a lot. No, no. All right. So well, then no. people don't get my business. I'm like, no, 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 no. Oh. I'm gonna have to give it to, I'm sorry, Tiffany, but you get the point. <laughs> Tiffany Smith with, I like that backing up thing. Yeah. I like that. Go back. You beat the professional dancer. That's the no-no dance. The no-no, it's like, get out of my way. Yeah. I like it. I haven't got to spin the winner's wheel of winning in forever. That's cool. Do! Do! Nice shot. Hey! Okay, right. so I got do. You did. Which means that I'm gonna make you do a dance move uh -oh. that Rob's gonna teach you. Oh, See how my head's staying in place while my body's moving? And you can do it with your head. Have you ever seen this done? Head isolations like that? I'm yeah, but that looks okay, really hard. I feel like I'm literally turning my face. I'm like, here, look at this This cheek. is an Don't assignment. You'll cheek. get it really good eventually. Okay. Now head goes to the right. Now your body goes to the right and your head goes to the left, which makes your head stay in place. Now reverse it. Christian, get back in here! <laughs> he totally chickened out. That's head gonna end to the, the show right. today. No, just to <laughs> I like to thank Robert for showing me how to dance. I can now go to the clubs. I can and do Tiffany this. for being uh -huh. Tiffany. Thank you guys for joining us. <laughs> What a great show. <laughs> to, you gotta go off the screen. All right, you guys. Well, if you want to check out more of this guy, maybe learn some dance moves, then make sure you follow him on social media at Hoffman Robert and on YouTube at Punch Robert. And make sure you check us out. <laughs> Subscribe right over there. Check out past episodes right there. And then download the Fandango Movie Clips app on your smartphone. And then check us out next week on Movie, Movie Threesome! Threesome!